Hey guys, what's going on here? Okay, great. Thanks, Dan. I just saw your uh, I just saw your message come through. Guys, a couple things. First and foremost, for those students that uh, that didn't have a test score report, I got those. I figured out who's whose scores. Going back to with Dan, I figured out whose scores we were missing. Lily, I know you were interested in your score. So uh, for anybody that hasn't gotten their score back, right? Ask Dan. I think there were two or three of you. I've been putting those in. We found the score reports. We found the bubbles. I apologize. If you guys can see, this is what I'm dealing with. I, uh, beyond the score reports that you guys got back, this is, this is our current uh, SAT load here in terms of getting, stuff, getting uh, all these student scores done. So, uh, again, I apologize, but those, those scores are now in there. Um, if you guys have any questions about those, let me know. Uh, again, I think there were two or three scores that we had to go back to. Elizabeth, I think, was another one. Um, I know that, that uh, we had, you hadn't gotten your score report back yet. I think there was some, just some confusion. Um, and again, I'm sorry. Uh, but in any case, guys, I hope everybody's ready to go today. Um, we're going to jump into a, our, our writing and language stuff. There are a couple of you, I really appreciate it. Um, there are a couple of you that, that, had, that sent me notes and observations for the writing and language test. I really, really appreciate it. I tried to respond to as many of those as I could. Uh, some of them came in last night, so I didn't get a chance for those yet, but I think everybody else, you should check your emails, um, and I'll try to respond to everybody today. But uh, did everybody get a chance, Dan? Can you just give me a thumbs up or a, uh, just let me know. How did everybody do on the, um, how did everybody do in terms of watching that writing and language video? Because again, that's what we're gonna focus on today. Can everybody, can you give me a thumbs up? Does it look like everybody kind of went through that? I know a few of you guys did, and you guys, some of you guys went through it really thoroughly based on your, your observations and your questions, so that's awesome. There are probably five of you that, that really did a great job with that, that I got notes from. I'm sure there were more, but again, if you guys want to send me those observations and notes, please do. I'm happy to respond, talk you guys through them, answer some of those questions, uh, but there were a few of you that did a great job with that. How do we do overall, Dan? Okay, on top of that, guys, what we're going to do today, I mentioned this last week, I think one of the things the program was missing last year, it was just repetition in, a, in an environment. About 70% went through it. That's awesome, guys. So those 70% of you guys that went through it, you guys are going to do great today. It's going to make sense. You're going to be looking at the things that you just saw in the video within the last couple days. That's awesome. So great job on that. Again, for those that really combed through it, great, great job. What we're going to do today, and again, what I think part of the, part of the class was missing last year was this really... Uh, Beyond just the two practice tests that we take, um, I think what we were missing was the ability to take kind of in this environment, there's a really great thing about taking a time test. And I just don't think that it's, it's realistic to think that you guys are in the right environment probably for a time test like this. So I want to incorporate these into the program. So again, I think Dan, Dan, can you just say uh, everybody's good to go on the, and getting the packets? I know I just talked to you, so it sounds like everything was printed out. You guys don't need a bubble sheet for this. I'm not really concerned about that. I know that you might lose a little bit of time having to bubble things in, so it's not perfectly relatable to the real thing, but just for the purposes of the day, we don't need to print out more paper for that. Um, but more importantly, again, guys, I wanna make sure that you guys are, are in an environment because that's half the battle. And I realized that in between last year's class and this year's class, that one of the things we didn't have was we went through a lot of content, but we didn't get a chance to show you guys a lot of this. So we've really tried to incorporate that a lot more, and that includes taking a practice writing and language section today. So again, Dan, can you just confirm that everybody's ready for that? Practice test section today. Okay, so this is going to be 35 minutes when we get to it. Practice test section. Please don't look at it yet. Try to simulate this as much as possible like the real thing. What we're going to talk about before we start that, and then we're going to really comb through it tomorrow, guys, but I want to make sure that we get through it today, get you guys a chance to take the whole thing. Okay, so but before we get started with that, I want you guys to do a warm up for me, okay? And again, as you guys are standing in line to get to the whatever test, if you're taking it at Grandview as an example, just to give you guys a sense, some of you might even be taking it this Saturday, right? The national test is this Saturday. That's why I had that big stack of papers that we're trying to get through. Okay, if you're taking it this Saturday, if you're going to take it the national test, this is not true when you take it in school, but if you're taking the national test, you're going to be in line, right, standing next to somebody that you probably don't know, waiting to be admitted into this testing environment. 
okay? And so what I want you guys to do before we get going with this test, if everybody, Dan, can you just confirm, does everybody have their phone? I know, I don't know if you guys are allowed to have your phones in class or whatever. Can you just confirm that everybody has their phone for me real quick? Or even their book? So either your phone or your book. Okay, either your phone or your book in front of you guys. Book might be better, just so you don't have to take your phone. But actually, no, let's do it on, no, take that back. Do it on your phone, because you guys are probably, if you guys are going to be in line, right, with a bunch of students, other students, you're probably not going to be wanting to carry around a 700-page SAT tutorial. That'll just make you even probably more socially anxious. Okay, so instead of that, I want everybody to pull out their phone if you guys have them. And I want everybody to open that Star U app that we keep that I keep mentioning. You guys all have student accounts. Okay? And I want you guys either in your book, so if you do have your book, that's that's great. Um, if, and so if you're in your book, you're going to turn to page two, 209. So I know we've done this already. Part of the reason that it would be great to have it on your phone because you won't have it on your phone. If you do have it on your book, if you are using your book and you've already done this sentence structure quiz, that's fine. But I want you guys to open to this 209 in your sentence structure or in your phone because this is you're not going to have done this. Open your phone to that star you app. Go scroll all the way to the bottom. So you guys are going to click again. Going back to the beginning, you're going to go click SAT at the bottom. Then SAT writing and language. Okay? Then scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to see sentence structure quiz. Okay? I want you guys to spend about five minutes right now. So it says sentence structure quiz. I want you to click practice questions. Okay? And there are 13 practice questions listed out here. I don't, we don't need to do all of them, nor do we need to get them all right. I'm going to give you guys about five minutes. If you can't finish them all in the five minutes, that's fine. But the goal here is to start looking at problems before you start the test. Dan, can you give me a thumbs up, or can you confirm that everybody's good to go on this? What I want them to do. Okay, so if you guys are there, okay, if you guys are there, I want you to open that up, look at your phones, okay, and I just want you guys, I'm going to give you guys about five minutes again, I want you guys just to go through that sentence structure and really try to answer the questions as if it's taking the real thing, as if you're doing the real thing, okay, so spend about five minutes now, guys, do that warm up, do the sentence structure either in your book, if you've already done the quiz in your book, that's fine, look through the questions and why. It is that you answered it the way that you did on the sentence search for quiz on 209. If you're on your phone, take it for real and try to answer those. Take about five minutes. Again, it's not about getting through the whole thing, so don't rush. I just want you guys to start thinking about writing and language problems. Work out any kinks. Start getting your mind ready to go before we're about to take this 35-minute writing and language test. Okay? It's so important to warm up, just like it is in sports, just like it is if you're in the play. And anything you guys do, it's so important to warm up. So take about five minutes. Do that. We'll get started here in about, yeah, right at 11 or 10.50. to 11.50 your time. 11.50 mountain time. through some of those guys, keep it up. Okay. So while you guys are doing this, you guys are on your phones, or in your book. Okay. This is not what we're doing right now, guys, is not just for fun, right? I want you guys to actually implement this on the real thing. Okay, on test day, I want you to be thinking about questions. I want you to be I want you to be focused so that you guys are ready to go on test day, that you're thinking about these things, that you're really, really trying to implement this stuff, just like you would on a, on a, in the sports, right, or in, a, in the play. You don't you just show up, right? You got to memorize your lines. So I want you guys to be working on this, and I want you guys then to implement it on the real thing.
Think about one to two more minutes, guys. One to two more. Go one more minute, guys. One more minute. I'm sure, as you guys are looking at this, you guys are seeing a lot of punctuation questions, right? With commas underlined. For today, if you haven't put in the time yet to really memorize your comma rules, right? Just think about basic things like simplest answer. Okay, so when you get to the real test today. The simplest answer, the one that doesn't require over too many words, right? We talked about that. The simplest answer, the one with less punctuation, right, is generally the right answer. Lots of commas are not what you want to look for on this test. Okay, if you don't know a semicolon rule, it's really important that you recognize that you don't know it today and that you go back and you review it for the next time you take the test, whether that be this Saturday or whether it be in a month when you take it in school. Okay? Those are all things I want you to think about. Okay, so Dan, how's everybody doing? Everybody feel pretty good about the warm-up? Feeling like they're, they're looking, they know what they're about to start? Let me know if, uh, if there's any questions on that. You can give me a thumbs up. And guys, we're going to be doing this a lot. So going forward for the next month or so, next week we're going to do the math no calculator test. Okay, on Wednesday and then on Thursday, we're going to go through every question on the math no calculator test. Today, we're going to take the writing and language test, get you guys into a real environment, feeling like you're about to take the real thing, but just sections at a time. And then tomorrow, we're going to comb through every question of the writing and language test. And I'm going to expect you guys to have really diligent and thorough notes on that tomorrow. Okay? Need two minutes? Cool, Dan. Yeah, take your time, guys. No need to rush. Keep warming up. Dan, just let me know when these guys are when they're feeling comfortable. Simplest answer though, guys. Keep thinking about that stuff. Simplest answer. Don't overthink it. Right? If you don't know your semicolon rules, you're not gonna learn them here in the next minute, probably. It's just important that you recognize that and you guys can do it on the real test soon. Go back and memorize that stuff. All right, Dan, how are we feeling? Ready to go? Everybody good to go?
Warm it up, guys. Great. Okay, so again, as we start this test, you're going to have 35 minutes. I'm going to try to give you guys relatively frequent updates. Great job on the warm-up. I want you guys to continue to think about that. Think about what you're about to take, what you're about to do. I want you to do that on actual test day, of course. You guys are going to have 35 minutes, okay? I want you to think through. I want you to have a reason for selecting every answer choice. There are 44 questions, okay? When you get to those questions, as we've talked about, that are about organization, right? Where should the sentence go? Where should the sentence be placed? Don't think about timing. Go back and actually reread those, those organization questions, okay? And if, if you ever need it, remember, simplest answer. That's going to be key. Okay, don't overthink it. You don't, especially on this section, you don't want to choose answers that are just that sound really long and convoluted just because you want to choose it. Think about the simplest answer. Okay? All right, guys, so this is going to be 35 minutes for the writing and language test, and then we're going to comb through it all class tomorrow. Okay, so 35 minutes. Everybody ready to go? Okay, 35 minutes, guys. And your time starts now. I will give you guys frequent updates, okay, with timing, with relation to timing.
you guys. You're about 15 minutes into the test. Just 15 minutes in, you guys got plenty of time. You're not even halfway through yet. Not even close. Okay, you got 20 minutes left, guys. Take your time. Not even halfway yet.
All right, guys. You guys have about five minutes left. But even if you're behind time, guys, don't freak out. Don't look around at your friend, right, and, at, and with the big eyes and be like, oh, my gosh, what am I, what's going on? If you're behind time right now, okay, don't worry. Try to answer as many questions as you can correctly. That's our whole goal. It has nothing to do with whether or not we finish every one. It's whether or not we're accurate on the ones that we do see.
All right, guys, about 30 seconds. I set it for 30 seconds before, so 30 seconds left, guys. 30 seconds. About 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. And time. Okay. Hey, Dan, how'd everybody feel? Okay, pencils down. How you guys feeling? You only got about five minutes left of this, and we're going to really go over it tomorrow. Okay. So everybody, Dan, in fact, can you collect everybody's uh, booklets or just their, their tests just so we have them for tomorrow? We've already seen my ability to hand, handle tests, so, um, yeah, if we can just put those in a safe spot so that we're good to go. Hey, everybody finished? Great, guys. So, again, as we go through this, tomorrow we're going to comb through this. I'm not going to give you guys the answers today. I don't want you to be thinking about the answers tomorrow. We're going to go through each and every question tomorrow. Okay? And I want to make sure that everybody has an idea. In fact, I don't know. Maybe I will give you guys the answers. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Let me think about that. Maybe I'll send you guys. Maybe I'll send Dan the answers and you can send them out tonight. If not, you guys are going to see them tomorrow morning, bright and early. I think that's probably best, only because I want everybody to be engaged for tomorrow's test. So let's do that. Or, I mean, for tomorrow's uh, lesson. Generally, when you get your score back, you don't tend to pay attention to anything I'm actually saying. You're just thinking about the score, right? So that's what we want to try to avoid because the reflection part of this, reflecting on what you guys just did tomorrow morning and going through, so reflecting. Right, reflecting, and then test corrections for tomorrow. Those are going to be so important to pay attention to. So we're going to comb through every question. You guys will get your scores tomorrow. Okay, we're going to comb through every question that you guys see, that you guys saw on this test. Okay, and it's kind of a final thing, guys. Uh, when you guys, when we go through this, then I'll let you guys go. Thank you, and by the way, thank you guys for staying focused. It seemed like everybody's focused. I'm glad that everybody was able to finish. But as you guys go through this tomorrow, I want you to remember that the test correction aspect of this is by far more important than the actual taking the test. I do think that we, we last year we did, we did too little of actually taking these sections. I think that's, there's going to be a big help for you guys when you, you take it in school for sure. Um, but, but again, go actually going back and combing through why did I miss these questions, right? What was I doing? It's not like I used to do test corrections when I was a kid and I would just like scribble something down and hope that the teacher gave me half credit if there were test corrections in a class. And I'm sure you guys have done that before on a math test, right? You get a C, and the teacher says, I'll give you 50% of the credit back if you do all your diligent test questions, and I would just scramble and do something the morning of. Don't do that, okay? Don't do what I did. Do, you want to be as diligent as possible. So every question, remember tomorrow that we go over, and then I'll let you guys go. Every question that we go over tomorrow, out of 44, right, 44 questions, every single one of those is worth 10 points. So when we start tomorrow, let's say you guys only got half of the questions right. So some of you, if you guys get half of the questions right, you get 22 out of 24. I want your goal to be able to get 25 out of 44 questions next time. Okay? 25 out of 44. Does that all make sense? Dan, can you just give me a thumbs up if everybody feels good about that? About this idea of, of don't, don't, don't reach for, oh, I got to get all 22 questions right. That's going to feel so overwhelming. But if you just think, okay, how am I going to get three more questions right next time? I got 22 on the test. Maybe I got 22 on the test in January, or maybe I got 22 in tomorrow. We'll find out. How am I going to get three more questions right? Because that's going to be worth 30 points in April. That's huge. Okay, so what do you need to do to get 30 points? What do you need to do to memorize 30, three grammar rules in order to get those questions right in April? Semicolon rules are really simple. They're very simple. That's where I would start. If you missed the semicolon question, and we'll go over it tomorrow, that's a really easy rule to remember. It's a really easy question to get right, and it's actually graded as a very high-level question, despite it being a very easy concept. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Does that all make sense? Everybody good on that? Dan, everybody good to go? Again, we'll go through all of the answers tomorrow.
Otherwise, guys, we're good to go here. You guys did great job. Thank you. We're gonna do. We're gonna continue to incorporate this all the way up until the April test, and then we'll have a full proctored practice test that first week of April, I think. Dan, I forget what that date is actually. I forget when the second practice test is, but. Okay, good. I'm glad everybody's feeling good. We'll go over all that stuff tomorrow. Great job today, guys. I'll see you guys bright and early. Uh, if you have any questions between now and then, let me know. And if you guys want to send me your observations and your questions while watching that video, let me know. We have a great video. We have a st one of our students uh, took a practice writing and language test, so it's amazing that this is all going to be applicable. One of my one of our longtime students took a practice writing and language test in real time, just like I did, trying to get a perfect score. Uh, and so I highly recommend you guys watch that. I think he talks a little bit about the things that we talk about, and I think it's a little bit more exciting to watch a student do it than than to watch me do it. So. Uh, that'll be coming out today, guys, so check it out on the YouTube channel. In any case, guys, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great rest of your day. Great job today, guys.